Hi, my name is Danny Brown. I'm the CEO of Myriad Real Estate Group, and today we're going to talk about price reductions. All right, so currently in the media, we are seeing a lot of talk about price drops all across the country where sellers are having to drop their prices in order to sell their homes. So the big difference and things that you need to pay attention to are the difference between a price drop and sales prices dropping. So you have to understand that sellers are typically the last ones to realize that there is a shift in the market or that the market is changing. And so sellers recently have been riding this massive wave of appreciation where home values month over month are increasing, you know, two, three, four, five percent, uh, depending on the area that they're in. So when their neighbor down the street three, four, six months ago sold at this price, well, you know, time has moved on and home values have been appreciating like crazy. So now I'm going to list my home up here. There is no board regulating what list prices are at. So if somebody in just a regular neighborhood wants to sell their home that's probably valued at 500, if they want to list it for 700, if they find an agent that's willing to do that, they can do it. They're going to have to do what are called price drops, though, to get back in line with where the market is. And where the market is today is we are not seeing that rate of appreciation anymore. We are in a balanced market. So what that means is that year over year, we should see property values increase somewhere in that four to 8% range. So if you're looking at a home that sold, you know, three, four, five months ago, you should probably be pricing your home right where they sold. Uh, because that rate of appreciation is that slow in a balanced market. Well, sellers aren't paying attention to that. They're only paying attention to, you know, we have selective hearing. So they're listening to all the stuff talking about how crazy the market was. And so they're listing their home up here. Well, they then have to start doing price drops because they're not getting showings or they are getting a couple of showings and the feedback they're getting is that it's priced too high. So they're dropping those prices and that is happening across the board. And that's what the media is honing in on are these massive price drops that are taking place. What we need to pay attention to is the eventual sales price. Now is the sales price going to be below what the home sold three or four, five months ago? That's what ultimately matters is that eventual sales price. And the answer to that question right now is no. We have not seen a drop in sales price. Home values are not going down. Could they? Absolutely. It's all based on supply and demand. Right now the rate of supply is increasing while the rate of demand is going down. If that continues, we could get into a market where we start to see home value slip. But I don't think that it's going to be at a rapid rate. So where we stand today are, yes, list prices are coming down, but that is a good thing. We want that to happen. We want that rate of appreciation to slow. Sales prices still closing where they should be closing at what the neighbor closed at three or four months ago. So all good stuff right now. If you're worried about the market continuing to go down and home value starting to drop, the good news is, is that over the last two years, Greater Phoenix has seen annual appreciation over 30%. So in two years, we're seeing gains of north of 50% in some areas, 60%. So if home values have gone up that much in two years, if you've purchased in the last two years or purchased before that, if the market pulls back, it's only going to pull back probably somewhere five to 10% or what experts are predicting for those super hot housing markets, which Phoenix was the housing market for the country over the last two years. They're predicting a five to 10% potential drop in home values. So if you've made 60% over the last two years in your, in your value of your home, you're only giving back five to 10%. So in the grand scheme, and that's only if you sell, this is all theor theoretical, right? So you're not recognizing those gains or any of those losses until you actually sell. So I don't think you're gonna be giving back all of the gains that we've seen over the last two years. So it will be very minimal if it happens at all. And that just strictly has to do with how much more supply is gonna be coming to market and how uh, demand is gonna be affected by higher rates. If we start to see rates come down to something more reasonable, which I think we will, it's just a matter of when, you're gonna see a bunch of buyers come back to the market 
and that's gonna continue to prop up the housing market and keep us stable. List prices are very different than sales prices. And so also keep in mind that if somebody prices their home much higher than where the sales prices are, they're gonna have longer days on market. And then they do something that's called catching up with the market where they may have priced themselves too high and now they have to chase down that market and they may end up ultimately hurting themselves and have to reduce the price below their neighbor that sold three or four months ago because the days on market have stretched so long. So it's more important than ever to be accurate in your pricing right now if you are a seller. If you have any questions about selling or buying a home in the greater Phoenix area, definitely let us know. In the meantime, give us a like and subscribe and thank you so much for tuning in.